I am Orlando Caraballo. I'm the Assistant General Manager here at Queen City Radio. I've been here for about two years out of the three. And uh, yeah, outside of beer buying and helping a bartend, bar bag, whatever's needed. That's pretty much my gig. Uh, so Queen City Radio originally uh, back in the 20s was a vehicle repair uh, service center. Uh, and then it turned into just a vehicle radio repair center, hence the name. Uh, we actually purchased this, uh, I believe, in 2015, opened in September of 2016. Uh, we carried the name, kind of carried that radio image and uh, things like that uh, to the best of our capacity. Uh, we try to service OTR by being the biggest patio in all of Over the Rhine. Um, primarily, we do have drinks. We do have some chips also in case you know, people are feeling a little, little nippy, a little hungry. Uh, we do also have food trucks. Typically, they'll pull in onto our patio so you don't have to like worry about bringing it in or anything like that. Just right here, uh, easy peasy. We are primarily known for our slushies as well as being a super dog friendly environment. The slushies rotate uh, twice a year. So we do our rotating uh, cocktail menu and then we change those out also. So we usually will do like spring, summer, and then fall, winter, and kind of cater the flavors to match the seasons. So my favorite slushie is the Orchard Frosé, partly because I helped come up with the recipe, but it's also, it's absolutely delicious, especially you know, out here when it's wicked hot out. Um, Monday through Friday, we try to have something a little different. For example, like Wednesdays, we have our trivia. Uh, Mondays, we did have karaoke. Obviously with social distancing, we were kind of putting the kibosh on that for, uh, for now. Uh, as far as like larger events, we do have uh, drag shows. We try to do two, three times a year. Um, we did have one that we're going to test out with social distancing. Unfortunately, we had to postpone that. Uh, more to come on that one. Um, outside of that, we try to pretty much do anything, you know, work with our vendors from beer reps to liquor reps, uh, local organizations, even charity events, things like that. So what makes Queen City Radio unique is uh, our patio. It is the biggest patio uh, in all of OTR. Uh, as far as seating capacity, outside of normal, you know, new operations, uh, we can have up to 300 people out there at one time without being like super crowded. Um, plenty of space for dogs to come hang out, run around, um, plus another, you know, 150 to 200 inside as well. Uh, we do have the three rooms, so we have our front, like our main area, we have an upstairs as well as our patio. So there's plenty of space for tons of people. We do our best to be in everybody type of bar. I know it's very cliche and kind of passe, but uh, we really do. Um, we, the only thing that we ask is, you know, be mindful of others, don't be rude and crude. Just, you know, come have a good time, respect everyone that's here, and we highly, highly encourage it from all angles. One of the other nice things is having the pedal wagons come through. Um, we're open for them Monday or seven days a week, so Monday through Sunday. Our uh, busiest day is definitely Saturdays when you know we can have 35, 40 when they're running full capacity. Uh, we do offer a discount, so anyone that does uh, get on the pedal wagon, we knock off a dollar for everyone of any of our slushies, which is awesome. <laughs>